Hey guys, today we're going to be playing some Fortnite videos! Actually, or did you knows do? It is? Oh. Well, better drop the stupid accent! And get to some. Hans from Hans Productions, we're back! If any of you watching this video have a dog, you'll know that they are carnivorous creatures, meaning that they are specially adapted to eat only meat. But why do they do that? Why only meat? Why specifically meat? Why not something like, I don't know, fungi? That's more specific, but anyways, um, I mean, carnivores have to eat their vegetables sometimes. I have to eat my vegetables. Carnivores should have to eat their vegetables too. Come on, comment, like if you're with me, okay? Like, share, and subscribe if you're with me. And if you're not, like, share, and subscribe anyways. You're being too desperate. <laughs> <coughs> anyways, going back to professionalism, I'm your host and guy who does literally everything else, Hans from Hans Productions. And today, I want to ask you, did you know? Half of you already commented, dogs are omnivores, right? Well, no, not exactly. You see, being a carnivore or an omnivore is defined by the coefficient of fermentation and a bunch of other factors, which honestly, it runs down and becomes a very long and complicated list that I don't want to get into today because even though I want to pad out watch time, I don't want to make this video unwatchable in classrooms because it's too long. If you guys want to see a full video dedicated specifically on classifying carnivores, omnivores, and herbivores, leave a like on this video, subscribe, and comment, what's a carnivore? Hashtag in the front, please. Otherwise, I won't be able to search it up. Basically, a low coefficient means a meat eater. A high coefficient is a vegetarian, and the middle is an omnivore. There are other characteristics, like I mentioned before, and that's really an oversimplified view of it. There's more things that go into defining a carnivore and an herbivore and an omnivore than just the coefficient of fermentation. So be sure to comment hashtag what's a carnivore. Back to the topic. Dog food can be as much as 30% produce. That's a lot of produce. If you had 100 grams of dog food, that's 30 grams of just vegetables. What is the deal here? Can dogs eat plants? For that matter, can all carnivores eat plants? Should they be finishing their veggies like us? Okay, I think some of you don't even know what carnivores are. That's okay, that's... Kind of my fault. I've not really done a good job on explaining what they are. In fact, I've done no job explaining what they are. Let's actually start with the focus of this video. Raise your hand if you've had enough of me saying carnivore. Stop saying it. What the heck? Did go get out. Get out. Scroll down the script because that's your job. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyways, um... Animals of prey are animals that eat primarily or only meat, like the aforementioned dogs and also dolphins and birds of prey. So you can keep watching and you'll be able to learn something really cool about them. Next up, herbivores, which are kind of like the opposite side of the spectrum. They eat primarily or only plants, often moving more to the only side. In fact, there are only a few herbivores that eat primarily and not only plants that are even classified as herbivores. So these animals are like cows, horses, sheep, and vegans. Next week, we'll be talking more about herbivores. So be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell to see that. God, that was a bad mess up. Finally, omnivores. I don't have a video about them coming up unless you count hashtag what's a carnivore, which again, we'll only do if we get enough comments. So I'm sorry. You guys can actually give me a video idea about omnivores in the comments. In fact, I encourage you to. Please. 
please do. That way I can make more videos, which means more ad revenue. Anyways, just think about what omni means. Omni means every in Latin. Omnivores eat everything that they can digest. Humans, raccoons, and hedgehogs. Wait, hedgehogs? Hedgehogs? Yeah, hedgehogs, apparently. Huh. It's, is that right? Am I reading that right? Uh, yeah, I think so. And it's really? Like show a picture of Sonic. Huh. Do, 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 do. Subscribe if you want to see a full cover for that. <laughs> no, that'd be great though. But really, that shocked me. I really, really didn't know hedgehogs were omnivores. Like, really? Wait, let, let's actually look that up. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, so apparently hedgehogs eat worms, snails, slugs, and insects. That's some, um, uh... New information, and now I can't get the picture of Sonic the Hedgehog eating crab meat out of my mind. Um, anyways, got all that? Alright guys, let's go! Okay! Wait, wait guys, where are you going? Come, come back, we still need to- Okay, so now let's analyze dogs to see what lets them eat meat in the first place. Now, here's where things get a little bit weird. There are three types of carnivores. Three, count them, types of carnivores. And our canid companions aren't what you would really call stereotypical carnies. As it turns out, animals that can eat this much produce, about 30%, are still classified as being carnivores, but are called miso-carnivores. Miso is a prefix meaning middle or partially. The more you know. What the f was that? Shut it. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to catch me riding. 30 to 70 percent of miso carnivore diet is animal carrying. Their digestive systems are made to handle flesh, but they don't have as much trouble processing plants as their successors, hyper carnivores. Now, hyper is a prefix meaning more or too much. You know, as, composed, as opposed to hypo, man, that was a bad mistake. As composed, as opposed to. As opposed to hypo, which means too little. Let's focus on hypercarnivores right now. A perfect example of hypercarnivores are felidae. What? Okay, honestly, to most people, that word means absolutely nothing. So let me simplify. Cats. Cats include lions, tigers, not bears. Oh my. Cougars, lynxes, ocelots, leopards, jaguars, cougars, mar Dang. caracals, servals, and domestic cats. And you don't even know what half the things I said are, probably. I mean, what the heck is a domestic cat? Cats are all the top predators. And like all other hypercarnivores, they all eat meat most of the time. Their bodies are incapable of digesting plant matter. If we're looking for a stereotypical carnivore to analyze, this is our best bet. Now, earlier I mentioned something about the prefix hypo. That's the third type of carnivore, hypocarnivore. Again, like I said, hypocarnivore means too little or underneath. And honestly, I don't think a hypocarnivore should be carnivores at all. Only 30% of its diet is actually meat. I would personally say that's an omnivore, but the coefficient of fermentation, along with other things like teeth and skull structure, are more reminiscent to the meat eaters, so honestly, this is a good time to just comment hashtag what's a carnivore so we can really understand what is with these hypocarnivores. Now, I don't have the budget nor the actual guilt capacity in order to dissect a tiger, so internet, show me your secrets!
What is this? Okay, guys, this video is getting insanely long. I've just started on, like, day four of recording, and I've realized that this part of the video is, what, 12 minutes long? It's getting pretty long. This is already the one of the longest videos I've ever made. So I'm going to split this up into a two-parter. The next one's probably going to be about 20-ish minutes. I've recorded the other part, and... It's 12 minutes long. It's 13 minutes long. Right, Timmy? Yeah. I saw that length, and I'm like, this video needs to be a two-parter. Okay, so this one's roughly 10 minutes long. Next one's going to be about 20. So I'll see you in that one. Bye.